Hi everyone, it's Kylie. Today I'm going to make a video that I've been talking about making for a pretty long time. This is going to be about how and why I do not use shampoo all the time. <laughs> If there's any questions that you guys have that I don't answer in this video, please leave them below and I will like try to get to you. A lot of people are baffled by the fact that I don't use shampoo on a regular basis. The only time I ever use shampoo is if, one, I'm trying to remove my hair color to change it. If my hair is dark or a color that has like a bunch of colors on there, I want to shampoo that as often as possible so that I can remove it before we change it. Or, the other reason why I would use shampoo is if I had just done color and my scalp might possibly still have color on it. Because if you do any kind of a application of color on the root, it's impossible to get it all off of your roots and your scalp unless you shampoo that out. It's just very difficult and you don't want to risk it because those are chemicals and you don't want them to over over process your hair. Why do I not shampoo my hair? Um, so first of all, a few people, most people know this by now, but it is not good for your hair to wash it often. Some people wash their hair every day and honestly, you do whatever you feel like you need to do. It is totally fine. It is completely normal if you feel comfortable washing your hair every day. A lot of people have trouble with working out daily or sweating daily and then feeling gross. Of course you want to keep your hair clean, but if you're stripping away those oils too often, your hair will be dry. Naturally, our scalps and skin produce sebum, which is the oil that we naturally produce to keep ourselves hydrated on the exterior. If you strip away those oils way too often, it's going to prevent your hair from feeling moisturized, flexible, strong, and shiny. Sometimes people are able to get away with it. Like I said, it's okay if that's your routine and you're happy with it, but it's not the healthiest thing for your hair. Typically people with finer hair textures, which is the, if you see a single strand of hair, whether it's a really skinny strand or a really big strand of hair, determines whether your hair is fine or coarse or somewhere in between. My hair is medium, um, but you could be anywhere on the spectrum. And if your hair is straight or curly. Curly hair typically can go much longer without washing because hair that is curly looks much better with oils in it because it holds those curls together and doesn't frizz them out because your hair isn't dry. Hair that is straight and or fine tends to look more clumpy because your hair isn't gonna coil when it clumps together like curly hair would. My hair is a medium density, medium texture, um, so my hair is very average and it's typically straight but I can style it wavy if I don't let it dry straight. If I scrunch it or sleep on it, it'll be wavy. Um, but my hair is over processed with color, which is the reason why I personally like to not shampoo my hair. Um, I bleach my hair a lot in order to get it this light color. My hair is naturally very dark. I wanted to point out a side note that there is a negative connotation when it comes to hair being over processed or damaged. For me, personally, I am able to wear my hair the way I want to wear in its desired texture. When my hair is healthy and super duper shiny and like dark and just healthy hair, it's it gets to oily way too fast for me. It's flat, it's straighter, and um, I'm not able to like flip it in different directions where it stays where it is. Processed hair tends to be drier um, and more texturized. Texturized is when like if you push your hair in a direction it stays that way or it just has a little bit more of a wave to it, kink to it, grittiness to it. And that's not for everybody but that's a reason why I like it. It helps me style my hair the way I want to style it. With that being said, I also need to be able to take care of my hair so that it doesn't always be dry and brittle and fragile because that's what damaged hair is. Overprocessed hair tends to be super porous and dry and it needs all that oil and that's why I 
put as much oil as I can into my hair and I don't have to wash my hair as often because my hair is so porous that it soaks up that oil right as soon as I produce it. Um, and if I just continuously like brush my hands through my hair, it travels it from my roots to my mid shaft just, just enough for um, it not to look too clumpy on my roots. Um, and dry shampoo is a thing too, so you don't really have to like worry about that often. With that being said, I'm going to talk about the how. How do I keep my hair clean and healthy without shampooing it? This one is super duper easy. There's a lot of options that you can do to like just make sure your hair isn't nasty when your hair is not being washed all the time. First one is super duper obvious, dry shampoo. Um, R & Co in particular has a huge range of different dry shampoos. Every brand pretty much has a dry shampoo. They mostly come in aerosol. Um, so the aerosol, it, it's just like kind of like a, a spray that makes your roots feel sort of like more volumized, which is great for some people. R & Co also has Skyline, which is like this powder that's like talc powder. Um, before I used any kind of products on my roots for oiliness, I literally just used baby powder because baby powder is talc powder and that absorbs oil uh, or moisture. And they also have a dry shampoo paste called Badlands and it's really good for short textured men's cuts. And let's see, what else do they have? They have um, Spiritualized, the mist which is micellar technology which pulls the oils away from whatever it is sitting on and it can create volume but it is wet you know it's a mist so what I do is I spray it in and then flip my head upside down and run my blow dryer all over my head just a little bit so that it dries better and it actually adds so much volume and fullness to my hair and keeps my blow dry volumized for longer um, Enough about R Co. They're a great brand, but um, but other than dry shampoo, there are other options like just using a cleansing conditioner most of the time. I have two of them here right now. Uh, every single oh, again, almost almost every single brand has a cleansing conditioner. A lot of people overlook the word cleansing because cleansing is a word we use very often in like shampoos and face washes, body washes, well um, specifically a cleansing conditioner is an antifungal and antibacterial mixture in your conditioner that will clean your hair and make sure it's sterilized, there's no bacteria growing in there, um, it, it sort of has a little bit of sudsiness, just a tiny tiny amount where it's not going to bubble up just like shampoo, but it's going to not be heavy on the hair. It'll typically like get a little frothy or a little foamy most of the time, um, just to like get a little bit of that lift of the uh, oil out of your hair. But it's going to clean it and then sort of evenly distribute the oil and not strip it away completely. If you Focus this all on your hair like you you should probably use a lot put it in your hair already wet obviously um, typically I like to Run my head under the water for a pretty long time so that all of the product build up. I use warm water um, I take pretty hot showers, but um, I let the warm water kind of melt away whatever product buildup is on my hair, any hairspray, any dry texture spray, anything like that. Um, it'll kind of just come out on its own if you really just sort of like shake your head while it's wet under the stream. Then you, you know, pump a, pump a bunch, just pump a bunch. Um, not too much obviously, but as much as you really need. Cover your whole head with it. Roots to ends, whatever you need. I start with my roots, obviously, because that's the part that's dirty the most. You just, like, use it just like shampoo. You don't have to, like, scrub like this, but, you know, get it a little foamy. If it doesn't get foamy the first time, uh, work it in well, rinse it, and then use it again, and it should hopefully get sudsy the next time. It's going to feel so much cleaner than you would ever think. Of course, everyone's hair texture is different, so this is not for everybody. Again, I have a very average hair um, density, thickness, uh, fullness texture. If you're somewhere around me on that scale at all, this might be an option for you too. Um, the other thing that I do when I don't want to use a cleansing conditioner is literally just using a good hair mask. Like, 
this isn't going to help with product buildup and it's not going to help when your hair is super gunky. I do recommend like running some cleansing conditioner through your hair or just a little bit of shampoo. It's okay to cheat if I was like in the woods all day because like sometimes bugs will get in there <laughs> like you know. If I've been outside a lot or I've been in really nasty like toxic air, I will shampoo my hair. By the way, um, this shampoo is from Mix Easy, which is a site that you can customize your own shampoo and conditioner. Um, there is a discount code in the description if you are curious. I also have a video right there that you can click on and see me review it. Um, so going back to the hair mask, if your hair is not gross, work it into your roots too because a lot of times conditioners, like deep conditioners, have really really good ingredients that will help your scalp too. Either moisturize your scalp if it's dry, um, balance your roots. Sometimes they'll have vitamins in there that will help your hair grow faster, but only if it's in your roots. Nothing is gonna happen hair growth wise if you're only touching it with the ends. Um, but roots to ends all over, put it up, um, take your entire shower. I always do my hair in the beginning of the shower, let it sit for the whole duration, and then rinse it out in the end. Um, just so it has its full beneficial time frame and then just rinse it out but when you're rinsing it I like to lean my head back like this and as it's under the water I like run my not my fingernails but the the pads of my fingertips all the way through every single part of my scalp and it just sort of like picks everything up and like pushes it out of your hair as you're rinsing. I swear to you, I didn't even think that this was gonna work like all the time, but every time I just use a deep conditioning mask and leaving it in my hair and then rinsing it out just like that, it feels just as clean as a good like moisturizing shampoo. Like my hair isn't dry, It's really, it feels really good, but it also feels clean, voluminous, you know. So that is how I do it. Everyone has hair different from one another. If you have a specific situation like your hair is like this or this, put it in the comments below. I also know that some people just have very sensitive scalps that get very itchy fast. And like there are anti-dandruff shampoos and there's also anti-dandruff conditioners. Like if you're looking for one, I'm sure they are out there. Like Nioxin has really good um, shampoos and conditioners for sensitivities of hair and scalp. If you shampoo your hair every day and you would like to start using less and less, um, take your time with it because it is going to be a few painful weeks if you just go cold turkey with it. Like if you if you're washing your hair every day and then you immediately stop, your hair is going to get nasty. Your scalp is going to smell for sure, almost for sure. I don't know your head, but your scalp might smell because if you're stripping something away every day, your scalp is going to train itself to produce more to make up for the absence of whatever that is, um, especially oil. So it's gonna it's gonna get nasty. Um, start off by shampooing every other day, and then start only shampooing twice a week. Then cut that to once a week. Oh, yeah, like. Every other day and twice a week is almost similar, but you know what I mean. Um, once a week and then once every other week. And then from there, you can honestly just stay right at like once a month if you would like. I want to say I do shampoo my hair like once a month, um, but that's because I do my color once a month or I change my color once a month. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was an informative and educational and inspirational video. Um, if you just really feel like I'm gross, go ahead and comment below. I don't care. Um, I'm a hairstylist, so <laughs> I, I do hair. I've studied hair. I have been doing my own hair for years. I know enough, honestly, to just to just like understand hair, you know? whatever um so if you like this video please like it comment down below i've been encouraging you guys the whole video so just do it subscribe to me if you haven't already and i will see you later